Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So on these videos we'll cover the basic settings to get started with PSA version 3 on the unified interface. Now as a reference I'm using my old blog post checklist for basic settings to get started with PSA. Some of the configurations and settings have to be done both on the classic web client as well as on the unified interface. So on this first video we'll cover currencies and exchange rates, unit groups, as well as organizational units. So let's jump in the system. And for currencies and exchange rates, as well as unit groups, we'll use the classic web client. So we'll navigate to settings and business management and currencies. We'll add a secondary currency of US dollars so that we can invoice US dollars out of PSA as well. So let's check the, let's click on the lookup. Choose United States and US dollars. We can leave the currency precision at two. We have the correct symbol and one euro is, for the sake of example, it's about 1.3 US dollars. We'll save and close, and we have a secondary currency set. So the euro is our base currency, and that was already set when we provisioned this instance. All right, so next thing is unit groups. So under settings and product catalog, we have unit groups. Now this is a vanilla instance and we already have PSA and field service, PSA version three and field service version eight installed on this instance. So with those, we have the time unit group already set up. Now, from a PSA perspective, the time unit group is pretty much the only thing that we'll see, we'll, we'll need. So there is not much to do for this unit group. So let's just see that everything is as it should. Let's go to related records and click on units. We can see that we have an hour already set up. So the name is hour, quantity is one. So everything from a unit group perspective is all already set up at this point. Now, if we were using field service, then we might want to set up pieces, pallets, boxes, etc. All right, so two of the three settings have already been set up. So we have currencies and exchange rates and unit groups. The next thing we'll set up is organizational units. And for that, we'll use the unified interface. So here on the left, it says sitemap. We'll click on that and we'll scroll down a bit to settings and organizational units. Now we already have a single organizational unit that's automatically set up when we install PSA. So we can just check those settings to make sure we have everything here as, uh, as it should. At the moment, we don't have cost price lists yet. We'll go through those on another video where we're setting up price lists for now. So for now, the organizational units won't have a cost price list tied to them. We'll make a second organizational unit for the United States as we just set up the US dollar as a currency. So we'll name this United States. We'll give it a short description and then we'll use the US dollar as a currency. So everything's set up so we can click on save either here on the footer or on the ribbon and the new organizational unit is now set up. Now note that the currency 
field does get locked when you save the record. So be sure to, ch to choose the correct currency for the organizational unit that you're, cre uh, that you're creating. If this would be incorrect, I would have to delete this organizational unit and set it up again. Now, again, for cost price lists, we don't have any price lists set up yet. So we'll leave this, uh, we'll leave this blank and we'll come back to the cost price lists on, on a later video. All right, so in short, that was the, the first three settings that we have covered. On the next video, we'll cover transaction categories, expense categories, fiscal year settings, as well as product catalog items. Thanks for watching.